Yes, you can install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware and this is the easiest way to do it. First, open the web browser and then download the Rufus tool. This tool is going to allow us to create a bootable media that bypasses all the requirements to install Windows 11. Now we're going to double click to run the Rufus tool. Now connect a USB flash drive with at least 8GB of storage. Remember that everything on the drive is going to be deleted, so make sure if you have anything important to back it up before proceeding. Now you have two choices. You can provide the Windows ISO file by downloading the actual file from the official Windows 11 download, which is this page, or you can use the Rufus tool to download the Windows 11 ISO using the download option. In here, just select all the default settings. On language, just select the language that you want to install, and then just click the download button and save that file to your computer. I already have it, so I'm going to cancel this. And then if you're downloading the ISO file with this tool, then it's going to be selected automatically. But in this case, because I already have the ISO, I'm just going to click on select, click the button again, select the Windows 11 ISO. Now you can leave all the default settings, but you can always change the value label and then click the start button. Now in here, select the option to remove the requirements, which is this one right here. And so this video is about bypassing the requirements to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. So I'm just going to use this option. Then click OK. Click OK one more time. Now you need to restart the computer with the bootable media, but you have to make sure that the computer can also boot from USB and you have to do this on the BIOS. So make sure to check the video description for a link to get the general steps on how to do this. However, you might have to check your manufacturer support website to get specific details for your computer framework. Now you can proceed with the installation of Windows 11 as if the computer was compatible with the operating system. First, click Next, Next, select the Install Windows 11 option, click here, click Next, click on I don't have a product key option, select the edition of Windows 11 that your product key activates, and then click Next. Now, I do have a bunch of drives here. However, you only have to delete the partitions on the primary drive, not on secondary drives that contains data that you might want to keep. Select the drive where you want to install Windows 11 and click Next. Now click the Install button. And now the setup is going to take over and install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. And that's it. Now you just need to proceed with the out of box experience. Select your language and click Yes. Select the keyboard layout. Skip this option. Hit this option. Select the Setup for Personal Use option. This is only available on Windows 11 Pro. Now we're going to create an account. Now let's create a pen so we don't have to use the password. Choose your privacy settings. You can use the Windows Backup, but if you're configuring a new computer, just click on More Options and set this up as a new PC. Click this option, click Skip, get this option too, click on Not Now, Next, Skip, and that's it. Follow me for more Windows help and tips.